Okay. Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are doing another Teen Tuesday. So this week we are reviewing a book called Coffee House Angel. And it's by, uh, it's by Suzanne Selfers. So it's, the book is here. And essentially what it is, is just... It's a typical young adult fiction romance book, you know. Girl meets boy, they fall in love, stuff happens, that sort of thing. It's really cute and just, it's a very light read, which is what I like. Uh, because sometimes you want to read something, but you just, sometimes you just want to, don't want to have to put so much effort into reading. And this is like, this is one of those kind of books that you can do that with. You could probably skip a couple pages here and there and still get the gist of the story. Would not recommend that, but if you did, you wouldn't be missing much. So what it happens is this girl whose name I've forgotten, her name is Katrina. She works in a coffee shop. And what happens is that outside her coffee shop, or the coffee shop that her family owns that she works at, she is a teenager, is a homeless guy and he's just out there. And one night she, you know, leaves him a cup of coffee and some snacks or like, you know, some pastries or something to take time over. And this act of selfless this is uh, kind of what prompts what happens next. The guy called Malcolm just tells her, you know, I'm an angel, a messenger from heaven. Now that you've, you know, given, done such a good deed of selflessness, I have to reward you for that and I cannot leave until I do that. So part of the book is Katrina struggling with the fact that she's got this crazy guy coming up to her, coming up to her and telling her things like, He's an angel, which obviously can't be true, right? So what happens is that he gives her a coffee bean, and when she wants to make her wish for what she desires the most, she's supposed to swallow it, or you know, chew it or swallow it, and then make her wish. And he, in theory, couldn't leave until she did this. It turns out, you know, he is actually an angel, and there's also some, like, drama to be solved with Katrina's family because the family coffee shop is running to some like hard times and they've got like competition from like a massive like big chain store of coffee shops and so she's trying to like save her family's um, coffee shop at the same time as trying to figure out her feelings out for this this guy who claims he's an angel and also um, another close friend of hers. It is really light and sweet and romantic and it's just like cheesy in all the right notes. It's all it's cheesy in all the right places, just kind of hits the right notes without being overly cheesy, which is actually quite rare because once you hit cheesy you tend to just go overboard. Uh, but this one's quite, yeah it doesn't do that. So it is a good book and I would definitely recommend it and it's, if you're just looking for like a nice love story, this this will be it. I would recommend this. Uh, yeah, and I will see you guys next time.